well, happy new year. Um, today, instead of doing a typical holiday lookbook and styling video, I thought instead I would do a lowdown review on a brand that has been blowing up on Instagram called 12th Tribe. Um, I know I say they've been blowing up, but actually when I looked on YouTube recently, there aren't a lot of reviews out there about this particular brand. And so I figured because I've already done two orders with them this year, that I had a good enough sample size to walk you guys through the pieces that I bought, um, give you guys my overall impressions of them. So in this video, I'll do a quick introduction to 12th Tribe and the brand itself, um, my overall experience shopping online and interacting with their customer service or customer support team. And then of course, as I mentioned, walk you guys through those pieces, style them, give you my impressions, and then leave what I call, um, you know, the lowdown, which is just my final thoughts on it, as well as a rubric on the pricing, the sizing and fit and quality of materials um, and all that good stuff. Um, so definitely stick around for that because that's all coming up here. So before we get into that, definitely let me know in the comments down below if you guys have purchased from 12th Tribe before, what your experience was, um, if you guys are going to go back and shop more of their holiday drops or upcoming drops for 2021. And if you haven't shopped at 12th Tribe and I missed anything, definitely let me know in the comments down below uh, any questions you have or hesitations you have about buying their products and I'll definitely get back to you um, there as well. Lastly, if you guys like the type of content that I post or you guys want to see more of my 12th Tribe hauls, which will probably be coming in 2021, definitely subscribe and hit the bell so that you guys get notified for when I post new videos. And I just hope that you find this helpful and that you enjoy it and can't wait to see you guys back on my channel soon. All right, so just a quick little blurb about 12th Tribe, the brand itself. It was founded in 2014 and they're now based in California. According to their website, they create style for the global soul and offer a collection that is for girls on the go. Um, so their online store itself offers clothing uh, like your typical knitwear, jeans, tops. Uh, they also have a cool loungewear section that they call kind of their Elevate collection, um, which is great because I know those types of looks have been uh, really on trend right now. They also have a vintage collection, which are all perfect for the upcoming spring. So I would definitely recommend checking that out as well. In addition to you know the clothes and all the other products that they offer, they also have a cute little blog site which just has you know some styling tips and letters from the founder that I thought uh, was really cool. As far as whether or not they hit that global style, or I'm sorry, as far as whether or not they hit that kind of global soul type of vibe that they advertise on their website, I honestly was not really sure what that meant when reading their about section, but I would say that a lot of the pieces that they offer are things that I would, you know, wear when traveling. I feel like a lot of their pieces do appeal to women who want um, versatility in their outfits, want a collection that they can get just shop based on, you know, where they're going next or where they're traveling to next. All right, so then as far as their shipping and overall customer service or customer support experience, I'm located in Boston. It definitely does take a little bit longer for the items to get to me um, because of, of the fact they're based in California and you know, they're a smaller business. Uh, for my second order though, I placed it on December 4th and it arrived December 14th. So about 10 days, which isn't uh, you know too bad. The one I did in October was a little bit different because I did place one of the items as a pre-order, meaning that, you know, I ordered it back in the last week of October, but the item wasn't actually available till I believe November 10th. You know, obviously depending on what you order, if it's, you know, a pre-order item, that's going to take a little bit longer. Um, but even for their regular shipping times, I would say give yourself a little bit of wiggle room when ordering from them. Definitely don't go online on a Thursday and expect to get something by the following Saturday or Sunday. Um, I would say 10 days, seven to 10 days is probably reasonable if you live on the East Coast. As far as my experience with their customer service team or their uh, customer support team, um, I'd say they got back to me within a reasonable window, probably I think 24 hours or less when I messaged them about the pre-ordered item and when I might expect that. So I definitely think that you know you can expect a response from them and that they'll reply to you in a timely manner. They also have a chat box on their website for any of your you know quick questions on sizing or you know when they're uh, next release is going to be for a sold out item, for example. 
And now for the fun part, I'll walk you guys through all of the items that I own and you know, link them down below so that you guys can see what I purchased. I'm 5'3", somewhere in between 130 to 140 pounds. I haven't really weighed myself and I have no desire to, um, but hopefully this will give you guys a good sense of what they look like on me when I style them. And then I'll also link the rubric that I do for all of my other lowdown reviews to give you guys the full picture. So the first piece that I'll talk about is called the Sweet Talker Chain Back Long Sleeve. I am a size small on this piece and it was $60 when I purchased it. Um, so I'll show you guys a close up here. As you can see, there is that rib material. It's kind of a, a close fitting or kind of bodycon type of fit. And it has the mock neck over here at the top. It is a very stunning piece. It looks like your average, you know, mock neck black sleeve. Um, but when you turn it around to the back, you can see the amazing detail in the shirt. You have really nice silver chain detailing and the ribbed material is actually pretty thick. So I will say with this item to be very, very careful when you put it on. Obviously you don't want to yank the chains out of the little uh, hole or the loop that is holding onto them. Um, and the reason I say that is because I did it to myself when trying it on initially. And you know, one of the loops actually came off and broke. So it was not a good time. Thankfully, I, you know, was able to sew it back and because it is, you know, a black material, the stitching isn't really showing. Um, but yeah, I would just definitely be mindful of that. All right, so this next piece is called the Owen Nude Vegan Leather Shirt Jacket in a size small slash medium. And it was $72 when I purchased it online. Here is the close up. As you can see, it's got the button down here, just your classic snap buttons, two front pockets. So I actually wore this shirt in my last video and I'm really excited to style it uh, for the rest of winter and the upcoming spring. Um, I love neutral colors, but I especially love when pieces come in kind of a different texture, a different material. And you know, the vegan leather, the shirt is super, super soft. I think it goes well over, uh, you know, a spring dress or just some, you know, classic faded jeans and heels or boots. This piece is also just super comfortable to lounge around in. Um, because of the oversized fit, it obviously gives a baggy or less constructed uh, feel to your outfits, but we all know those are really in style right now anyways. Um, and I think it's just kind of a, an interesting or unique take um, on the classic button down, the classic white button down that everybody is wearing right now. This next piece is called the Ventura Floral Slip Dress size small and I purchased it for $52. It is so pretty. I absolutely love this color. It's kind of like a in between yellow and orange shade and it has kind of flowered detailing, but also what I think looks like a little bit of animal print. So I think that's definitely really cute. Um, something I haven't really seen before in typical slip dresses. I purchased this obviously keeping in mind that I needed to start stocking up on my spring wardrobe. Um, and you know, in my head, once New Year's is over, it's already spring. I just kind of skip over January through March. Anyways, I feel like this dress is perfect if you guys are looking for something to brighten up your wardrobe. Um, I think the material is actually really pretty. It's a slip dress, so obviously it's a thin material. Definitely want to layer it when it's still a little bit colder outside. If you live in a warmer climate, obviously, uh, you would be able to wear this whenever, or if you were to go to vacation somewhere where it's warmer, you can definitely pack this in your suitcase um, and carry it with you wherever. This next piece is actually the one that I purchased on pre-order. This one is called Not Your Boyfriend's Chocolate Corduroy Jacket um, in a size small, and this one was $78. So here is the close-up. You guys can kind of get a sense of the corduroy material. It's got some kind of fraying here at the ends or at the bottom of the jacket. Typical um, buttons, two front top, uh, two front pockets um, here. So the reason I really like this jacket is not just because of the materials or the crop style, which I love in all tops and jackets, um, but I really like the color. I feel like this kind of chocolate color is actually pretty hard to find these days. I don't think I've actually seen any jackets in this kind of shade or in a shade uh, similar to it. 
and we all know that chocolate has been like the color of 2020 and it will be on trend in 2021 just because it's such a versatile piece uh, the color is going to match with a lot of the clothes that i already have all right and then for outerwear i have a teddy coat called nights in montreal <sighs> i'm really bad at pronouncing things hand Montreal, please forgive me. This jacket's called Nights in Montreal in size small slash medium, and I got it for $82 on their site. Um, so I've been looking for a teddy coat everywhere lately. You know, they're so in style right now, especially every fall or winter, you see them coming around. So at this point, they might as well just be, you know, a staple piece in your closet. So obviously it's an oversized fit, but it has kind of like a deeper, v-neck so you have the labels or the collar um but it goes down to about like here on me um and so it's not like too bundled up and doesn't make me feel like i can't layer the pieces or really show them when i'm wearing them out the length isn't too long either i feel like there are some uh, teddy coats that go all the way down to your ankles or floor um and with me being 5'3 i just don't really like when these types of textures are all that you see on my frame when i wear them the texture of the teddy coat is super soft it's fully lined on the inside uh, also pretty soft and smooth I featured this one on my other video, so definitely check that video out uh, if you feel so inclined. And yeah, overall it's great. I think it's a perfect layering piece. They also offer this teddy coat in a white shade. Um, so if you guys are looking for, you know, this style and just in a different color, uh, they definitely have it. So the next piece I want to talk about is called the Modern Muse Ivory Top in size small, and I got it for $60. This is actually the first item that I ever purchased from 12th Tribe back in October, and I think it's been featured in nearly all of my videos since then. Um, I love it because it has that cropped style here and it also comes with the bell or the wide sleeves so those features combined with the ivory materials of this blouse I think just give it a very you know carefree but still flurry type of vibe and just overall is a very flattering piece especially when pairing it with you know high-waisted jeans or high-waisted skirt the buttons obviously give it some versatility here as well. So for example, if you were to wear this you know, to work over a jacket, uh, you might wanna leave it buttoned all the way up or maybe just one button down. Um, but then later that night, if you have a date um, or you're going out with your friends, you could definitely loosen it up um, a little bit more. And if you're wearing like a cute bralette or a cute little tank top underneath, um, that definitely would elevate your outfit. Uh, for the evening. So now to get into the rubric, uh, as far as the quality of the materials, I'm gonna give them a four out of five. The only reason I am giving this a four is because of the backless top. Just be more careful when you buy items like that in general. So as far as the pricing, I'd say it's fair enough. I feel like you could definitely go to a Forever 21 and get a slip dress or a jean or corduroy jacket for cheaper or much less. Um, but I think the reason I continually shop at 12th Tribe as opposed to getting my items from, you know, the bigger uh, well-known brands or factory stores is because of the unique quality in the pieces. I feel like with, you know, things like the corduroy jacket, I don't really see items in that type of color that type of shade um, when it comes to just their overall collection. I feel like you don't really see a lot of those types of items um, just from any store. So I do like that you can kind of get unique pieces that not everybody has. So I think the price is kind of justified in that sense. When it comes to the fit and stretch of all of the items, I'd say they're actually pretty true to size. I am a size small in all of the pieces or small slash medium in you know their coats or outerwear. So I definitely say you can't really go wrong when it comes to those because if you're in between sizes, you would just get you know the range that you're in, either small, medium, or uh, you know medium large. I do kind of wish that they had a wider size range. So right now I think they only do small, medium, and large for all um, or you know the majority of their pieces it would be great if they also included you know extra small and extra large sizing um, just so that way it caters to you know every woman and every body shape um, but you know just maybe something that they will add in the future um, as far as the comfort that also gets a five out of five all of the pieces that I own are incredibly comfortable and soft I feel like they're made from you know quality materials you know, as I said before, the faux fur from the teddy coat is super, super soft. Uh, you know, the vegan 
and leather from the button down shirt that I have is pretty supple too. I feel like it's hard uh, with those types of textures because they might be a little rough on the skin. Um, but you know, with these items, I'm not having to like yank them around or mess with them or I don't really feel itchy when I wear them. And so that to me means that it's comfortable and that it's good to go. And then durability wise, I've worn these pieces several times and, and you know, it doesn't show any signs of wear. Um, there's no fraying or loose stitching on them. So I definitely give them points for that. I think just from first impressions and putting them on my body, I think that they will definitely last you uh, a good while as long as you take care of them. <laughs> And so the lowdown or just my overall final thoughts, I think this is a really awesome brand. I think if you can practice patience when it comes to the shipping times, there's definitely going to be something on their site that appeals to you. I definitely would say just give them a shot. Uh, they come out with releases often. They also do sample sales every Saturday morning, or if you're in the East Coast, I think it's Saturday at 12 p.m. Um, so you definitely can kind of dip your toes in a little bit if you're not sure you want to go all in on their regular priced items, but they definitely have a variety of uh, things in their collection that you can kind of choose from. So given that there aren't a lot of 12th Tribe reviews out there on YouTube, I hope that you guys liked this video and found it helpful. If you guys want to see more content, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I also really love answering any questions that you guys have on the clothes or the products that I buy. So if there's anything that I missed in this video or that you guys uh, want to know, definitely just comment down below and I'll get back to you. Thanks again for watching. I appreciate you guys taking the time to watch my video and I hope to see you guys back here on my channel next year.